why not spend some time in the kitchen learning to cook something different? Greg Hare and Robin Levy are here from Stratford University, and they're joining us this morning with more. And you can see Robin's already actively stirring something <laughs> here on the stove. But we're going to walk through to get to the process over where Robin is first. Correct. Greg, let us know exactly what we're making. We are doing pumpkin risotto. Nice. Good timing. Yeah, very good timing. I see what you did fall there. Yeah, fall. Yeah, 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 nice. All right. So we have a nice hot pot here. Where's we the pumpkin? Little, the pumpkin is right there. All right, we'll get to that in a second. See, okay, all right, look at that. Pureed stuff. Yes. And yeah, see, pumpkin's actually related to, you know, the whole squash family and all that. And, and it, it is edible. It is edible. It's completely edible. I thought it only came in pie. Here we go. All <laughs> it right. has those little smiley faces No, wait, on you're it. putting, you just put something in there. That is ghee or clarified butter. Okay. We, um, we allow the butter to melt slowly so that we get the milk solids out. You get a lot of jokes with clarified butter, yeah, too? Pretty much, yeah. yeah. We get a lot of jokes with short grain rice, too. Yes, we do. Yeah, we do. <laughs> All right. <laughs> a little so, internal thing right there. Okay, so, so we've got some onions. We, so we, have, put some... we have some onions here. We're going to take this onion, and we're going to throw this right into our pot. And How long does this pumpkin? sit in here there, Robin? It sits in we... there, Robin. How long does it sit in there? Are we browning it? No, we're doing it until it's um, translucent. Correct, until it's clear. Right. Then Robin took my spoon. Sorry, yeah. I need to just stir. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I used All to right. be a Boy Scout, so I didn't come prepared, so they're going to cut me for that. We have some roasted pumpkin here. Okay. And you know we have some nice sweet juice from the from the roasting. That's and all just pumpkin right yeah. there. That, it lo it almost just, looks like pineapple in here. It does look like that. As you can see, you know, okay. we have the there's the rind. We just cut the rind off, a little salt and pepper, and put it right in. Okay. After we uh, put it in the oven, roasted it off, get, a, get rid of all the water. How long were you? You say roasting. How long are you roasting this? It the, depends. Go ahead. Sorry. Go right <laughs> it depends ahead. on how big the pieces are. Okay. Um, if they're smaller than like 15, 20 minutes, if they're really big, because these ones came from a like a hundred pound pumpkin that okay. was donated to our school, and about how long did that take then? Thirty minutes, a okay. half an hour. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna add our rice once it gets nice and clear. We're gonna add our rice in here. We're gonna we want our rice. It is a short grain rice called arborio rice. Okay. All right. The shorter grain gives us more starch, which allows us to have sort of a, a gravy. Your question was, how do we know it's cooked? Right. We're constantly tasting. We're tasting, taking spoons and okay. making sure the grain is al dente, soft it's and chewy. Not, yeah, not crunchy. Okay. Exactly. Gotcha. So right. once we get the rice coated, we're and coming a little to an end here. That's quite all right. We're going to add our sherry. Uh -huh. When we add our sherry, we're then going to constantly monitor. The thing about risotto is you're over top the stove and you're always watching it. Okay. As it absorbs the wine, then you're going to add your stock little right. at a time. Once it absorbs that stock, you're going to keep adding stock until the rice is nice and al dente. And then that's what you'll have there. Turn it into a pasty, not soupy. Yeah, pretty but much. But you can, cooked rice you can add more gravy. to, I guess, to your pleasing. Yeah. It's cooked rice. More sherry, too, to your pleasing. Much. You can use white wine. I use sherry. You can use red wine. You're supposed to classically use uh, dried porcini mushrooms, okay. rehydrate them, and then use that water. That easy. Mm -hmm. Greg Hare and Robin Levy from Stratford University. Thank you so much for giving us this uh, seemingly seasonal meal for us. Yeah, thanks, to Robin. learn more, if you missed anything in there, just log on to foxbaltimore.com slash morning. Well, coming up,